We're in the sunshine state of Florida, where a food truck battle is about to heat up. I'm Jesse Palmer, and this is a food truck face-off. Over the next hour, four teams will compete for the ultimate prize, their very own customized food truck for one full year. I think we're going to win for sure. This is ours. This is ours. But before any of our teams can proceed, they're going to have to impress an expert panel of judges that will select only two teams to compete serving their food on the streets of Miami. But here's the thing. While all of our teams may have a passion for food, no one has ever set foot in a food truck before. All they've got is this crazy dream to own one. And this dream is going to become a reality for the team that can earn the most money over two frenzied days of selling. And that's no easy task. So who's got what it takes to make their food truck dreams come true? Well, buckle up, because you're about to find out. This is Food Truck <laughs> Face Off. Our four teams are about to pitch their food truck concepts and food to our talented panel of judges. He's an Atlanta radio personality and TV host, Steak Shapiro. Alpana Singh is the owner of one of Chicago's hottest restaurants, The Boarding House, and owner of Pallet Party, voted best food truck by the Miami New Times, Chef Robin Almodovar. Our judges will be looking for unique flavors, viable concepts, and solid presentations. So let's meet the teams. First up, Chris and Tanya. They're definitely gonna freak out when they taste our food, because it's amazing. We are the double T. Top Spheres is the place to be. Christopher Blue. I'm Tanya Barrett. And we're, and we're Top, top of trios, trios. And, and we, we rock. rock. <laughs> Our concept is trios. We have ground beef with Gruyere. We also have steak and cheese. We do that with ribeye, port salut. We have our beet burger. Do that with a little sauteed spinach, a little bit of feta cheese. We have a quinoa salad with grilled vegetables. Toss that in a lemon vinaigrette. We also have a crostini, doing a little bit of hummus, grilled eggplant, a little bit of fresh mint. Wow. It's a lot of action, brother. <laughs> Indeed. So when I come onto your truck, everything's in, given in threes, right? That's uh, the concept. Everything is offered individually. We will have signature trios for $10, and then they're $4 each. My problem is there's no cohesiveness to any of this. You can make it match if you want. Aren't you trying to be everything? It's sort of saying, this is what we do best. I think we're trying to appease everyone. <laughs> I have to say, this is a good burger. It's I a mean, delicious burger. The sweetness burger. from the remoulade, almost like a Thousand Island sauce. It is, it's a gourmet Thousand Island is what it is. Each item's really complex. I just don't see where all your ingredients could fit on the truck. My friends that have won on food trucks are cranking out one or two things, and they're generating revenue, and it's easy to get out there. And I think you guys love to cook, but I think your concept is absolutely all over the place. There were a few negative comments that I definitely wouldn't like to have heard, but what can you do? Next up, we've got Kelly and Trisha. We're gonna kill it, and we're gonna show them that we got good food, and just let them know that we're here, and we're not going anywhere. Hello, everybody. I'm Kelly. And I'm Trisha. And, and we're, we're the, the Meat Ballers. ballers. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Trisha's gonna be serving you our original mom's Italian-style meatball. My twist on it, I stuffed it with mozzarella cheese and also our meat ball, which is our lamb meatball on top of lemon herb orzo. Where's the cooking come from? Where's the history? She's my aunt. She taught me to cook when I was younger. So this was your dream and you brought your aunt in? Yeah, on. she's okay. my inspiration. You know, I have a 12-year-old son and to show him that I could, you know, follow our dreams. And this whole time of my life, my parents have basically um, taken care of me and my son. So like, I think it would be great. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I think it would be great to like stand on my own and show my son that we could do this together. Talk to me about concept. Why is this a winning operation? We wanted to find something that was easy, that was affordable. With a meatball, you could probably do anything. So your canvas is balls. Yes, Correct. our canvas is balls. And then you can do whatever you want with that. But would you think half of South Miami, where they're watching their figure, it's hot out, do you see a huge line and people ordering balls? Yeah. The flavor, the originality of the type of meatballs we're going to be doing, and the taste and the presentation is just going to stand out. I like imagination and mixing of flavors. The sauce is, you know, just reminds me of just like good red sauce that you get on like great spaghetti. This meatball on the little slider, 
This is like LeBron James. This is like an MVP performance. Thank you. We're gonna win this. We gotta believe it to the end. And meatballers, honey, go. <laughs> Let's now welcome Christopher and Andrea. Definitely feeling the butterflies. But our concept's amazing, so we're ready to do this. Hi, judges. Hi, <laughs> judges. Sexy. I'm Chris. And I'm Andrea. And we are Killer, Killer Fish, Fish Taco. Taco. We not only have the most delicious food, but the most environmentally friendly as well. And let me introduce you to the venomous killer lionfish. Whoa. This is a super invasive species native to Indonesia. It made its way to the coasts of Florida, and since then, the population size has exploded. So the fish isn't poisonous, right? The lionfish does have venomous spines, but it's not anything that you can consume that's going to harm you. All right, stay. So put that venom in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Moment of truth. That's a good little fish. Thank you. <laughs> the fish tacos, we've given you guys two different kinds, both lionfish. One is on a Thai purple cabbage slaw, and then they have a beer battered, and they're both served with a locally sourced pico de gallo. This is a yellowtail snapper ceviche. It's raw fish cooked in the acid of lime. And we serve it with the blue corn tortilla chips as well. This is my first time having lionfish. You know, it's actually, it's a firm, flaky white fish. Yes. It's very mild. It reminds me of like haddock, cod. I really love the ceviche and the tacos, but I just find it's lacking a little bit of salt. Okay. I guess my concern would be, is your passion doing something about this fish, or is your passion to own your own food truck? We're both really big on the environment, and we both love to cook, so we want to sort of mesh those two passions together, and this is the absolute perfect opportunity we see. We got this, Chris. Yeah, I definitely think we got this. Last but not least, Hector and Jarvis. I just want to see the judges' faces when they actually try something different. We're going to kill it, bro. All right, now. Yes, sir. Right. <laughs> we are Top of Shots. The first entree is our lollipop wings. It's with a mango barbecue sauce that we make ourselves. And our second dish is a Cajun jerk chicken pasta. It's just honest Caribbean food. Why tapas shots? What's the concept of tapas shots? It's flavorful. It's going to punch you in the mouth. Bam. So shots. So it's like a kick. Boom, boom, nice boom, little kick. Shot. I think the pasta is cooked perfect. The wings, I love how you scrape the meat down. Oh. So I'm able to hold it. Yeah, it's like a lollipop. Pop. So I think it's cute. This is tasty food. You serve a great jerk chicken pasta Alfredo alone, people will say, that's what I'm having for lunch. Tapas for me doesn't mean pasta. Well, tapas for us, with the jerk chicken, you know, you get like one or two pieces of chicken, plus the pasta. You think your plates are smaller? Is that what you're saying? Serving size. Yeah, it's a smaller okay. serving. Well, this is more than a bite. I think uh, you need to work on defining tapas right. and sticking to that game. OK. OK. The food will speak for itself, regardless. Right. Uh, that's what we really speak believe in. volumes. This is going to be a difficult decision. And you even had two tapas pitches. What did you think of tapas trios? Way too many ingredients. The best thing I ate today was that cheeseburger. Doesn't that count for something? It's a good burger, I'm not going to lie. It's overzealous, though. I think they have too many components for a food truck, so I see food cost out through the window. All right, well, let's talk about Miami meatballers. I mean, I don't get the connection to the basketball, but that Kelly really knows how to weave those flavors together. Kelly's a rising star, and I'm going to tell you, those little mini meatball subs with the tomato sauce, that's the best meat to bread ratio that I've seen in a long time. Killer fish tacos. That was a tasty little taco. It was working. They're marketing a concept around a venomous fish. I mean, even Big Steaky here was scared. What did you think of tapas shots? They got a concept where it's tight. I think those guys bring something. The Caribbean flavors are spot on. I mean, that chicken wing was good. I just have a problem. Pasta is really not tapas. Well, none of it is tapas. Keep their portions small and with the prices to match. Teams, our judges have sampled your food and they've assessed your presentations, but only two of you can move on to compete out there in our food truck face-off. So judges, who's staying and playing and who's going home?
So judges, who's staying and playing and who's going home? All right, well, you know, this is a food truck competition and food is what matters the most. And the team that we thought brought it in terms of something unique and delicious is Top of shots. <laughs> we are finalists, and man, it's, it feels good to say that. Let's do it. Let's go bang it out. Let's Win do it. Turn up. Turn up. <laughs> <laughs> so judges, who's the second team that gets to move on to the streets of Miami? There's one team that really seemed to have their act together. They also have a chef that we think is a hidden gem. Miami Meatballers. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just so excited to see where we can take it and the fun we're gonna have going through it. Now we're on the next step and so excited. Well, Tapas Trios, Killer Fish Tacos, thank you so much for your hard work and I'm sorry, but you won't be moving on any further. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. With our teams chosen, it's now time for them to face off on the streets of Miami. Welcome, guys. Well, I hope you guys all got some shut-eye because today is going to be tough. But first for the fun part, it's now time to meet your trucks. Uh oh Bring them on out. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn! Oh yeah, baby. Very nice, very classy. I like that. Well, go on, guys. Check them out. I can't believe this! <laughs> it is going to look amazing on the Miami streets. <laughs> Hola, America! This truck is amazing. Yeah. It's beyond what my yeah. expectation was. Yo, you going to be able to drive this big-ass truck? Hector and I have known each other for about five, six years now. We both graduated from the Cordon Bleu at the restaurant I'm at now. I hired Hector as an addition, and he's been a great one. Having actual line jobs with other companies, I decided that's not what I wanted to do. I want to be our own bosses. Right. Coming from humble beginnings, working in the kitchen, working your way out of it to owning your own food truck, it almost makes us think that this is like fate. Like, it's something that we were supposed to do. And it keeps us so ambitious. It keeps us wanting to go further and go harder. This is all or nothing. You know, this is what I want to do. And it's going to happen. Do it for the truck. 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 <laughs> we're taking this all the way. And the mean fathers are coming to you. Trisha's my aunt, and I'm her niece. As a little girl, I've always watched her cook in the kitchen, and she inspired me. I would say we've been cooking together for about 10 to 15 years. We've been through so many different parts of my life, her life, and I think that's why the fit really works. I went to culinary school for a year, and after that year, I've worked in and out of kitchens for about five years. I'm doing this for my son, my family, and myself. Being a young mother at 18, having her first child and not being ready for that, that had to stop her from going to school and achieving a lot of things that she wanted to achieve. I really want to see Kelly reach her dream. Get it, mama! This has to happen. This is it. This is the game changer. This is the step to the rest of my life. My son, he's just waiting for me to come home with that truck. Dream, dream team. team! Can't beat the meat. It's Papa Shots. Remember the truck, remember the name. <laughs> All right, teams, here's how it's going to work. The team that earns the most money over two sell days gets to keep the truck, but we won't reveal your earnings until those two days are over. Now, the first location is going to be Charno Park. It is a beautiful beachside boardwalk in Hollywood, Florida. That's where the two of you will be competing against each other, truck to truck. <laughs> now, today's lunch service starts in only three hours. You guys have got a lot to do. You need to shop, and you've got to prep. And guys, you'll only have 30 minutes to buy all of your ingredients from the commissary right behind you. It is a big space. So get a game plan and shop smart. 
Today we're gonna be serving our original Italian meatball stuffed with mozzarella cheese. And next we're serving our meatball, which is our lamb meatball. We're gonna put that on top of a orzo. And we also have our vegetable, which is our spinach and Parmesan cheese. And a nice lemonade basil drink. Our first dish is the jerk chicken pasta, our signature dish. We'll also be serving our jerk wings. And then we have our mango lollipop wings. We also have a signature drink, which is a Caribbean punch. We call it Shop of Juice. Are you ready? Yes. Shop! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Right. You need dry mustard and your onion powder, garlic powder. Perfect. I'm good. Move it, move it. Chicken wing. Here, sugar's down here. But we need sauce. We can't do anything without sauce. This place is huge, though. I'm too big for this Oh. <laughs> it was a mess. Oh, my God. I was flustered. I wasn't built for this. I ran out of breath. I'm getting tired just telling you about it. <laughs> we need breadcrumbs. Oh, God, it's not going to be here. Oh, no. Hector, I dropped the jerk sauce. We have another one? How many? That's just one? Just one, just one. We, don't, we need. This is harder than we thought. There is only one minute left. Does anyone know where frozen spinach is? Yo, where did I find that jerk? Where the f is the frozen spinach? Five. Four, three, oh. two, one. <laughs> Time is up. That was crazy. That was intense. That was insane. We didn't get no mangoes. I want to cry. How are we going to sell mango wings without mango? I'm so mad. All this damn running, we still miss stuff. Do you get pine nuts? Oh, no. Sucks, because we missed butter, olive oil, and pine nuts, which is pretty major with everything that we're making here. All right, guys, got to cash out. Load up your trucks, hit the road. Your lunch service is about to start pretty soon. There are a lot of hungry people waiting. At least we got the chicken. Concentration. Here are the eggs. I'm driving the truck. Crazy nervous about that. Oh, I did it, I did it. All right, now we got to get there. Let's go, let's ride. I can get used to this, John. Hell yeah. I can get used to this. How are we going to start peppering? We got the big boxes of chicken, the chicken right. wings. We're only using the drumettes. Right. So why not sell two different kind of wings? Yes, we could do that. Good! Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Get your ass there. Do you see those boys anywhere? Nope. Good, Good. go, we lost go! Them. We lost them. They got lost. They made the wrong turn. <laughs> Bro, do you even know where we're going? Uh, hold on, I lost track. Come on, man. You gonna let these girls beat us driving? Oh, where did Miami meatballs go? No, we lost where did they go? Them, we lost them? Oh, we gotta make a U-turn. Hey, who's out there? Is that Miami meatballs? Where? That's them up there. Bro, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> All right, we are here. We're bringing the meat. Oh my God, look at these people. This freaking place is gorgeous. That first day, we didn't know what to expect because I am a fish out of water. I haven't really been around food trucks or the food truck crowd. Look at all these people ready to eat. All Look at this all this money. money. All this money. Dollar bill. Dollar, Dollar bill. bill. Woo! Let's go. Well, welcome to your first of two sell days ever. Yeah. <laughs> now remember, guys, whoever earns the most money over the next two days will win their very own food truck. Yes. We're not going to tell you what your earnings are until both sell days are over. Right. Now, today, you each have two hours to sell as much food and make as much money as you can. Not only will you be selling your hearts out, but your judges are going to be here. Oh, oh my god. Ooh. They're going to be tasting your food, assessing your presentation, and checking in on your customer service. Now, based on whoever the judges feel ace these three areas, one of you is going to receive a special advantage for tomorrow's final sell day. 
That's going to be us. So you guys ready to do this? Yeah. You're ready. You're ready. Hurry back on your trucks. Finish up your prep, because very soon, you both are open for business. Here we go. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Hey, you think we're going to have to modify our menu a little bit? Yeah. All these old people, you think they're going to handle all the spice? <sighs> we got two spicy dishes, jerk uh, pasta, jerk wings. We might have to dumb it down a little bit, yeah. but they're going to eat it. I do not think old people would be a factor. Do you need help with that? No, I'm good. Just keep doing what you're doing. Just chop, chop. Today, we're serving the original meatball. It's called our baller. That's uh, Italian stuffed meatball with mozzarella cheese. My mother's made that meatball. Her mother's made that meatball. That original meatball has been part of our family for such a long time. And then we have our meatball, which is our lamb meatball on a bed of orzo. And uh, we're trying out to get out our vegetable. It's spinach and cheese. And fried in the fryer until it's crispy. We're missing um, pine nuts, olive oil, and butter. And um, we're improvising using canola oil with garlic. This water takes forever. It's so slow. Give me that chicken so we can start prepping for it. You start working on the sauces, mango barbecue. For today, we are serving our jerk chicken pasta. Uh, it's chicken strips that are marinated in jerk sauce, usually seasoned with garlic. And then we saute it and pan sear it with long red peppers, green peppers, and red onion. The judges gave us a lot of grief about the jerk chicken pasta and how it doesn't fit with our menu and the concept. We didn't budge. I mean, we were very confident in that dish. How many wings are we giving them per dish? We're going to give them five. Next thing that we have on our menu is jerk wings. We uh, marinated and seasoned in jerk sauce. We fried them. We originally had a mango lollipop wing, so we had to change it. I totally forgot about the mangoes. Yeah, my so. bad, bro. We uh, had some fruit cocktail, and we made pretty much a fruit-flavored barbecue sauce. I like it. It's, I think it's probably better than the mango. Teams, your orders are about to start pouring in. Make your final preparations. I'm out of water! One of us left the water running. We were cleaning pots through the day and leaving the water running as we were cleaning it. We really never thought we had to ration our water. Never crossed our mind. I guess that's the way a food truck works. I am uh, actually melting ice to get some steam going over here. So we get our meatballs cooking a little faster. Hell no. I don't think we're going to have time to do this. I'm not making lollipops, Hector. Our trophy lollipops are usually on a stick. We make it to look like a lollipop, but with the time given, I, we had just had to make a decision. We're going to just sell the wings as is and let the flavor speak for itself. Turn on them jets. That's all we can do. All right, teams, you are now open for business. Let's go. Let's go time. Hello, welcome to Top Aside. Uh, chicken pasta. We have one jerk chicken pasta that'll be six fifty. First customer. It was humbling, man. It was cool to, you know, as a business, your, your, your first transaction selling your food. And hey, we have two more jerk chickens walking in. I think the chicken needs a little more seasoning. It's supposed to be jerk chicken, but I, I don't have the spice. Thank you. Thank you. Originals are going fast. Very good. Very spicy. And I'm from New York, so I know meatballs. The lamb meatballs. There you go. Very well seasoned. That's the main thing. I'm going to go back for seconds. That's how good that is. Here's your wings. Let me get you your drink now. It's delicious. Very spicy. Exactly the way I love it. Got another veg, Kel. I was thinking it was going to be more chewy, but you can taste more of the spinach in it. There you go. Thank you. Sarah. Trisha. OK, oh. Kelly. Can you right now? Five orders do I have? You have five. Don't put them in front. They go left to right. Trisha, she's not used to this industry and restaurant vibe, but you know, sometimes I could get a little mean with her, but it's just, that's, it's the trenches. This is what we do. Where are our napkins? Above you, above you, above you. I need a trophy punch. Uh, the total is fifteen fifty. I don't have $4. I don't have the change for it. Those quarters were getting on our nerves. I don't have change. I'm giving out quarters. I'll be right with you. Give me one minute. It's the middle of the lunch cell, this and our hard. judges have arrived to evaluate the teams. You know what happened, Trisha? Our meatballs broke down in the sauce. Hey, ladies. So is this the? This is our original meatball. They're kind of breaking up on oh, us now. No. 
Usually we stuff our meatballs with the cheese at the end. And this time, just to speed up the time a little bit, we threw all the mozzarella cheese into the meat. And once it hit the sauce, it just all came apart. All right, well, we got to figure this out. We got to figure out how to keep our balls intact. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, bring me back to the Caribbean. Are those your tapas size? Just for the pasta. How much is that? Six fifty. Why are you guys using change? We're not in Vegas. There's no slot machines in here. You don't even have change in there. Well, yeah, we're, I'm waiting on it. Oh, see, that's what happens. You should just round it up. Now go run out and get some change. You ain't got none. <sighs> you got a huge line. Run this by yourself. See you later, man. Looks like you're in the weeds. A culinary battle royale is happening on a Miami beach where two food truck teams are peddling their signature dishes to hungry customers. Whichever team earns the most money over two chaotic cell days will win the keys to their very own food truck. The first cell day of this face-off is in full swing. You got a huge line, run this by yourself. And one team struggles to keep up. Sorry about the wings, we're getting to you right now. He had to leave to go find change, and I'm like a hurricane in the truck, trying to not burn stuff and take care of customers. Oh, right in time, right in time. Here's a change. Luckily, he came right before I passed out, which is cool. Our judges are here to assess our competitors' food, presentation, and customer service. Three make or break ingredients vital to running a successful food truck. Whoever wins gets a special advantage for the final sell day. So let's start off with some wings. Tapas shots, wings, right? Yes. I like the meatiness. It's just the sauce is just too indistinguishably sweet. I don't get the tropical punch. I don't get the mango, the papaya, whatever tropical fruits you think of. The one thing that I'm missing from yesterday is the cute little dainty lollipops. This is not cute and dainty lollipop looking. I like the jerk wing. It's not as messy, it's cleaner. It's what I expect. It's a mild jerk. I see how they adapt it to their crowd. Now, tapas shots is about shots of flavor, but there's just no flavor. They're missing it. How much flavor do you want them to do? Have you seen the demographic of this beach? This is the tapas shots jerk chicken pasta. OK. The spice on that chicken is what I'm looking for. There I get the jerk seasoning. I get the black pepper. I get the kick that you get from the bell peppers. Now, let's get to our ladies from Miami Meatballers. Still a great meatball. I taste the seasoning, I taste the spice. I would just want a little bit more sauce. Well, here we have the lamb meatball with the orzo pasta. You get those Mediterranean flavors of the oregano, the mint. I love the sweetness of the raisins against the gaminess of the lamb. I mean, I think it's a really solid dish. You don't need more than this. All right, let's talk about the vegetarian ball. Look how great that looks. Pretty good, Miami's very health conscious, vegetarian. Well, what vegetarian is tracking down a meatball truck? <laughs> OK? That's another market. I disagree. I think they want to cater to everyone. I got to say, I can't stop eating this spinach. Thing. I told you, it's a good ball. So good. Tapas shots, Miami meatballers, get your last orders in. Make every last dollar count. Get your meatballs. Looking out, knowing there was a long line in front of their truck. Are they doing better than we're doing? Come on, guys, meatballs. Woo! Thank you. All right, give me those two pastas like ASAP. There you go. Your lunch service is now officially over. Close your windows. Ah! Woo! We did it. All right, we've collected your cash boxes, but you're still going to have to wait one more sell day, though, to find out how you guys did. Our judges, though, can tell you what they thought about your food, your presentation, and your customer service. But first, the winner of today's competition will earn the services of a prep cook for 30 minutes in tomorrow's final sell day. Think of all the extra time you guys are going to have with an extra set of hands. All right, well, judges, let's find out how our competitors did. Alpana, talk to us about how our teams fared with respect to taste. All right, well, taste for me was a no-brainer. Miami meatballers. I mean, Kelly, that spinach ball, I was a little reluctant. I'm like, OK, great, we're on a meatball truck. I could not stop eating it. Tabas shots, I don't know what to do with you two. You keep promising us these shots of flavor. 
please give it to us. Okay. All right, Robin, what did you think about presentation? Guys, I did not have that cute little dainty lollipop that I had yesterday. What happened today? I got meat all over the bone. My finger's a little bit dirty. So on that note, I have to give it to the Miami meatballers. Ladies, it was visually appealing. You had some trouble with your meatballs, but you had enough prepared not to let it affect your presentation. Good job, ladies. All right, Steak, you know all about customer service. How do our two teams compare? Tapas shots, nothing wrong with your customer service, but these guys right here are Hall of Famers. You guys know how to handle pressure and poise with a big smile. Service goes to Miami meatballers, man. All right, Miami Meatballers, that means you are the winner of today's competition. And as such, you now have the services of a prep cook. Nice. Great. You guys are going to need it. Tomorrow, guys, it is about to get way harder because you're going to be going up against other food trucks that are way more established than the both of you. You're going to be set up in front of Miami Dade's busy college district. Your challenge is to come up with an entirely new daily special to add to your menu. Is he out of his mind? We barely made it with the one we were supposed to sell. Your final lunch service starts in less than 24 hours, guys. See you guys tomorrow. All right. We got to wow them tomorrow. That's a tough crowd. I guess our strategy should remain what it is and, and come just... up with something amazing as our signature dish for tomorrow. Toning down the spice. We jumped the gun on that one, and unfortunately, it bit us in the ass. So. We have another day of competition, and we're just going to do our best with the next one. That's what's going to happen. At the end of the day, it's who brings in the dollars, so that's what we got to do. Our teams have restocked and bought ingredients for their daily special. They're now on the move to sell at Miami-Dade College. Let's go! Those girls cannot beat us today. We the first one there, we're taking off. No, we have to be the first one there now. They have uh, that 30 minutes worth of prep time from another person, so. As long as we're organized, as long as we stand in order, we got it. Yeah. Oh, man, we got to be on third, not 30th, Trisha. Oh, my god, Kelly, hurry up. Don't quit, don't quit. We got this. Can you imagine this. if the boys are already there? Oh, we beat him? Yeah, we beat him, we beat him, we beat him, we beat him. Yo, man, we good, we good. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh! Get out of the way! Come on! We got to do! Once I start getting on these sauces, I'm going to start helping you with that chicken to make them into lollipops, all right? All right. So that's going to probably take up most of our time. My meatballs are lollygagging already. I'm not worried about what meatballers are doing. I know. As long as we not lollygagging around. Oh, no. Top of shots is there. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Is there room for us there? Can you see back? Because I can't see that far back. I'm nervous. You know, I've never done this before. I could barely parallel park my own car. What are you doing? I'm going to get out and help you. You just want to be perfect because everybody's watching you. <laughs> oh! So we're going to have to work on that. <laughs> we got to move it. We yeah. got to start balling. Hey, guys, I'm Stephanie. Hey, hey guys. We are going to start you with the spinach, just draining the spinach really quickly. We got this amazing prep cook, Stephanie. She was able to get everything prepped for us while we really concentrated on making the meatballs. So it was such a big help. As soon as we get ready over there, we'll go and uh, start making our special, the taco meatball. The special that we have is the Mexican meatball with chipotle peppers, diced tomatoes, goes on top, give you a little kick, a little spice. We think that's going to be our winner for the day. Uh, Jarvis, there's so much brine in this ackee. Yeah? For our special, we're making ackee and saltfish dumpling. The actual ackee, it's a fruit of Jamaica, the national fruit. The only food that you could really compare it to is probably avocado. Traditionally, in Jamaican cuisine, it's paired with saltfish, so it has a very salty flavor. Ackee can be very poisonous if eaten without being cooked. Eight dollars. We raised our prices on day two. We rounded everything up to make sure that, you know, we didn't have any change. So we got to put our special on here, too, huh? Yeah. We were in the zone, making sure we had a much better day than day one. 
Meat bottles are going down. They don't have a chance. Well, they want flavor, we gonna give them flavor. Yeah, you heard that. Go bold or go home. Are these sizes okay? Is everything all right? Oh, this looks great, Stephanie. Okay. You're doing such a good job. My name is Ballers. What's going on, guys? What's up, Jesse? Well, I know How you, you guys are prepping. We're well, your 30 it. minutes is up. I gotta pull your prep cook. No, oh, not yet. Not Come yet. Come on. Finally. 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 Lots on the lines right now, so that's the reason why it's stressful. Tap shots. How are you doing? Lots of hungry customers outside, okay? Okay. Lunch service literally minutes away. Yeah, we gotta keep this up, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Unfortunately, again, we won't have a lollipop wings. We just didn't have the time to make it. Running the food truck was not as easy as we thought it would be. Ready, set, set! Go time, baby. It's go time. Welcome to Top of Shots. What can I get for you? Can you try the jerk chicken? So we got two jerks walking in, hurt? <laughs> two jerks. I wasn't even thinking about the other trucks. The more you worry about the competition, the more or less it takes away from your production. Let's keep this thing rolling, bro. And one taco. Can I get you girls anything to drink? My window has been nonstop. People have been ordering ball after ball after ball. I'd call that positive. All right, Kel, I think our hit today is a taco, huh? It sure is. Spicy, but not over spicy. I think the meatballs would go over well in Miami just for the fact that it's very simple. We got one special coming up, so we got two jerks and one special. One special. Selling is crazy right, crazy now. right now. Yeah. It's it kind of like that incentive to want to work harder and with this food truck. Everybody do the flavor dance. <laughs> hey! That's really good, very good. Spicy and all, a little tasty. So we got two jerks and one special. You taste all the spices, the heat, and then the subtleness of like pasta, cream, so good. Having this today is like a little taste of home. We're all smack right. in the middle of sell day two. And while this face off is all about the sales, our judges are here to see if our teams have improved. Hey, ladies. Hey, how are you? Hey, good to see you. Today our balls are intact. <laughs> yes. And they're cooked and ready. We left them out of the sauce until service. So we're just adding the sauce at the end today. Great idea. How you feeling right now? Right now we're feeling pretty confident, man. We brought the uh, the heat back in our food, and we kind of stayed true to who we are. Looks like a comeback. Well, this is what we live for. You have a different mindset today. Got a little nervous, but we shook it out of us. Don't be nervous. Absolutely. The Miami Meatballers gave us, in theory, a great idea. It's a taco. Uh, it's a meatball taco. It's a meatball taco. Correct. The balls are. <laughs> A little, so it's falling apart, well, but... isn't this something that they would figure out beforehand? Beforehand, that you test your recipe first. The uh, most important thing for the Miami meatballers is again their meatball sliders. They seem to have fixed the issue with the balls falling apart. Seems like there's more sauce. <laughs> nice little shot in your hand. That's from Tapa Shots. That's the ackee yeah. fritter. A lot of flavors going on in there. I like that they're doing something very unique. People really seem to enjoy this dish, right. and authentic was the word that kept Ooh. coming up. Let's talk about the jerk chicken Alfredo pasta. I mean, just by looking at the chicken itself, it's coated with spices. Now, taste the pasta with the chicken. Nice balance. A little more interesting. And we're nice. doing the flavor dance literally today. Yeah. And, uh -oh. Make sure you get the two fingers. Yeah, that's what they were doing. Teams, you've got five minutes to sell. Hurry up and get your orders in. Hustle up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, that's $4. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, Natalie, your order's up. Uh, Time is up. Close your windows. Bro, we did it, baby. Oh, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Oh. Happy, happy. We finished it's our competition. Frank, it's over. This food truck gives us the opportunity to show people what you have. To be able to win a truck is exhilarating for both of us. We've come from humble beginnings, working in the kitchen, working your way out of it. It'll be like the key that unlocks the door we've been trying to get open for so long. Got that, Cal? Yeah. I'm doing this for my son, my family, and myself. 
My biggest fear is just not succeeding because failure is not an option. The second and final day of selling is over. Time now to reveal a winner. It's been a long haul, a lot of hard work, a lot of sleepless nights. And this means everything to us. We worked so hard to get here, so hopefully it's us. That truck is ours. That's how we think of it. All of our dedication is coming to us full circle now and uh, ready to reap it. You've both survived two chaotic days of selling food on the streets of Miami. That is no easy task. Now, before we announce the winner, Let's first hear from our judges. Miami Meatballers, well, you had a great connection with the folks that you were serving. And day one, you were kind of getting your feet wet. And in day two, you were just rocking it. They seem to have fixed the issue with the balls falling apart. And I got to tell you, there's a lot about what you do that says to me, you guys can be successful in a food truck in Miami. Oh, tapas shots. After day one, I didn't think you guys were going to make it. But on day two, you proved me wrong. Everybody do the flavor dance. Hey! You guys are about taking risk, and that is what tells me that you guys are the ones to watch. Keep doing that flavor dance. <laughs> the teams, ultimately, this competition is about who made the most money over the last two days, period. Miami Meatballers, on day one, your total was $417. Tapas shots. On day one, your total was $330. Miami Meatballers, after two days of selling, your final total was $960. Tapas shots. After two days of selling, your final total was $732. That means Miami Meatballers, Kelly and Trisha, you have won your very own customized food truck. Oh my god! <laughs> Tapas shots, the flavors and the spices, they all came together, and I'm very excited about your future. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Losing this competition doesn't change anything. I think it just adds fuel to the fire. So y'all watch out. Definitely, yeah, watch out. Definitely, we're not going anywhere. Nah. Thank you. Great job, great job. We won. We, won. we did it, we, we won. Did. Amazing. Fun. We're getting ready to drive. We just want to go do it. You also oh need God. some keys, ladies. There are the keys for your food truck. But get out there, hit the road. Oh Hungry God. customers waiting. Oh my, my first stop is going to be to my parents' house and show them, beat that horn. <laughs> Mommy Meatballers is here. This oh. is our truck. My baby. <laughs> my son, he's just waiting for me to come home with that truck.